Hey guys, Chad Trofkerman here. In this tutorial, I'm going to go over some basic sound usage in Flash. So I'll show you how to import sounds, how to apply them to the timeline, and then I'll demonstrate what the different difference between event and stream is when it comes to applying different functions to your sounds. And with that, let's begin. As you can see, I have an animation right now on the screen. And if I hit enter and play it, you'll see that it plays out, but there is obviously no voice going with this animation. So I'm going to fix that right now by simply going to File, Import, Import to Library. Now, when you do this, you can go ahead and browse for your particular sound or voice or music that you are wanting to add into Flash. And once you find it, you just go ahead and double click it and it'll bring it into your library as you can see right here. Now, in order to apply the sound to the timeline, you should have a new layer, a blank layer. As you can see, I have that on my timeline right now. And from there, you can either simply drag and drop it right onto the stage with that layer selected or if I undo this, another way you can apply the sound is to click the frame that you want it to go on in the layer, go to your properties, and if you come down to the sound part right here on your properties, you can click the drop down menu on name and then choose the sound that you want from there. Either way works just fine. Now, if I go ahead and click enter. Hey, walking, he's dead, he's stone cold dead. Obviously the sound is in there and you can see that the sound is in there too visually by seeing the wavelength on the timeline as we go through here. Okay, next with our sound still selected, we're gonna go to our properties box and go down to the sound section and now you're going to see a drop down menu by sync. And when you click this drop down menu, you'll see that we have four different options here. These allow the sounds to act in different ways in Flash. And now we'll go through each of these. The first of which I'll choose event. And event basically, when the timeline reaches the frame your sound is on, it will play the sound and it will continue to play it unless if you indicate it to do something otherwise. Also, and this is probably the most distinct difference between event and stream, is that if your movie has a lot of detail and the person's computer that is playing the movie lags due to all that detail, your sound, if it's an event, will continue to play in its own fashion regardless of what the animation is doing. And I'll explain what I mean there in a second. So I have it set to event and I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate what I mean by it will continue to play unless you do something otherwise. So on frame 60 on my sound, I'm going to right click and I'm going to insert a keyframe. And now as you can see in the timeline, the sound is now disrupted. There's no more sound past frame 60. However, since the event is triggered on frame one, it will continue to play regardless of what we did there, as I will now demonstrate. Hey, 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 walking, he's dead, he's stone cold dead. So as you can see, the event plays and it won't stop until the end of the wave file or until you indicate otherwise, which now if we go to frame 60, and if we go to our um, sound section here, and we go ahead and select the sound that we just put on on frame one, and we go down to sync and go to stop, then we go ahead and play this. <laughs> there you go, you'll see that it stops right when you indicate the stop. Now, let's go ahead and clear this keyframe. And let's go ahead and now set this is sync event to stream. So now it's on stream and now it acts a little bit differently. When we go ahead and disrupt this um, wave pattern on frame 60 
and we don't put a stop indicator in there, and we go ahead and play it, it stops. And that is one of the differences between event and stream. The other major event is, as I was kind of describing before, if you have a lot of detail in your animation and it legs someone's computer down, if your sound is set to stream and there's a sound going while your animation is going, the stream event will actually make your animation catch up to the sound, meaning your animation will actually drop frames to keep up with the pace of the sound. And an event does not do this. And again, event will just play out independently of that of your animation. And so of course, these different sync types have different uses. For instance, if you're um, going to put background music into your flash file, using a stream event might not be the best choice if you have the music going through multiple scenes because once your um, sound hits the end of one scene and it transitions to the next scene, your sound's going to stop if it's a stream event. So you probably would want that to be, you know, just a regular event. And if you want, like maybe your dialogue, for instance, if you have a lot of detail going on in your animation and you want your dialogue to be sure it's synced up with the mouths, then maybe a stream event would be, you know, the better choice for instances like that. So it's just something you kind of got to play around with and figure out what works best for what for you. And those are basically the main differences. I hope I explained that well enough. If you have any questions, please let me know, and I will see you guys next time.